Now there are different type of subtitles that you can include in your pivot table. You're not only limited to a sum. For example, you can include the count of transactions, the average sales, the maximum amount, the minimum amount, the product, and so on. Let me show you. What you need to do is go into your pivot table field list and into your row labels area. Let's choose products and the drop down and go into field settings. And now we get our subtotals and filters tab. Now it's set at automatic and we can change that. Choose custom. We can click on sum. We can also click on count on average maximum minimum and we have a few other subtotals that we can include there but let's just include these and press ok and look what happens each field item has its own subtotal for 2012 2013 and 2014 and let's scroll down you can see for bottles here we have the sum count average maximum minimum the same thing for ice cubes the same thing for soft drinks and the same thing for tonic. Now a pivot table has all that information summarized in a few rows. And it's fantastic to have if you want to do some quick reports, quick metrics, all in one page.